This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff. Look at the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see my lot of that data. Like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm gonna give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, they want us to think that the economy is fine, that everything's doing okay, that the banks are doing great. But every single day, there is more evidence of banks holding on by their fingernails. Okay, we saw what's going on with Green Dot and other banks. And now, Barclays Bank is planning on cutting hundreds of jobs. Okay, they're cutting hundreds of jobs because they are having issues. And the reason they're having issues is of course the economy's in trouble. The banks are over leveraged. And what is great about that, in my opinion, I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell any bank stock. What I'm telling you is this. You got executives from the banks selling off their shares. You got banks firing employees. Is that signs of uh, industry that's doing well that's growing of course not of course not and with Barclays about to cut hundreds of jobs probably thousands probably thousands what do you think that's gonna do to liquidity of these hedges that's relying on these banks to finance their AMC GME PLTR MULN shorts I believe as these banks fail, and this is just my opinion, I believe as these banks fail, a lot of these hedge funds that are relying on these banks for liquidities are going to be margin called. And when they do, when they do, it's going to send, and this is just my opinion, AMC, GME, MULN, PLTR to the moon. Because in my opinion, these stocks have been naked, shorted to death. Nothing to do with the fundamentals of the company. Just the fact that these bad actors can do what they want. They can violate the laws because there are no regulatory agencies in the United States that protect the stock market for retail investors. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Barclays Bank cutting hundreds, maybe possibly thousands of jobs? is a good indication that the banking industry is doing well. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.